Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Use of edible coatings with extract of green apple peels to prolong the shelf life of the fruit. Presented by Professor Dr. Sayyidah Rubina Gilani, Department of Chemistry, University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore. Content include the abstract, experimental work, results and discussion, conclusion. Use of plastic packing material and petroleum products. Plastic produce several environmental issues along with oxidation. It is one of the main reasons of quality loss in foodstuff. For alternate feasible solution, biodegradable or edible coatings for food products is better choice and harmful impacts can be delayed by using the active coating containing antioxidants. Active coating innovation is intended to prolong the shelf life of food. Green apple containing the high level of antioxidants and polyphenols. So it is susceptible to browning and used to control gas exchange and moisture transfer. Different characterization in this research was carried out like antimicrobial activity, measurement of phenolic content, FTIR, UV visible spectroscopy, SAM, XRD, and goniometry of these coatings was carried out. These coatings are incorporated with several food additives to enhance the food texture, flavor, and color. Food grade biomacromolecules, in addition to fruits and vegetables, are used for edible packing having suitable physical mechanical properties as well as unique sensory and nutritional characteristics. Fruits are essential components of human diet. They provide energy and carbohydrates for body function. The recommended daily intake of fruits and vegetables is above 400 grams per capita, according to WHO. Post harvest losses are about 25 to 40 percent in Pakistan. Proper packing and coating techniques should be used to save these products. Poor storage techniques may harm the quality of the products and loss of nutrients may also occur. Environmental work include the material and methods for the preparation of coating material, chemicals, carboxymethyl cellulose. It is used as a thickening agent provided by home department, apple peel extract, solvent, cold distilled water. Experimental setup includes the magnetic stirrer, Two six tractor machine, measuring cylinder, narrow grid size sieves, spatula, beakers, centrifuge battery dishes, electrical balanced refrigerator, sonication bath, apples, mesh, aluminium foil. Method includes the preparation of CMC solution, then obtaining the extract of apple peels, then centrifugation of apple peel extract, staining of supernatant. Preparation of solution of different concentrations, sonication, coating on petri dishes, coating on fresh apples. This is the pictorial representation of CMC solution preparation. When apple was taken and the peel extract was obtained, this extract was brown in color. of different concentration 10% concentration 45 ml of cmc solution was taken and cold water solution plus 5 ml spermatent of peel extract was added mixed this solution in the magnetic stirrer until homogeneous mixture is obtained 15% concentration 42.5 ml of cmc solution was taken then cold water was added 7.5 ml supernatant of apple peel extract was added. Mix these components at the magnetic stirrer until homogeneous mixture is obtained. Preparation of 20% concentration include the method 40 ml of CMC solution and cold water solution plus 10 ml supernatant of apple peel extract mixed at magnetic stirrer until homogeneous mixture is obtained.
here is the picture of 20% concentration solution, 15% and 10% concentration solution. Is sonication. The prepared solution for coatings of different concentration had some bubbles. Before coating them on the apples and patchy dishes, sonication process was carried out. For this purpose, samples for 30 minutes to remove the air bubble was sonicated. Sonicated solution is transparent and homogeneous solution without any air bubble in it. Things on the dishes include application of a very thin layer of the solution of all the concentration on the patty dishes and then cover the patty dishes with aluminium foil to prevent any kind of fume contaminations. Place these patty dishes in oven at 37 degrees C for 24 hours. Thin edible films were ready and different characterizations of these edible films was done to check their properties. This is about the coating on apples. How means how coating on apple was carried out. Applied a thin layer of solution of different concentrations on apple. Brush coating and dip coating method was used for this purpose. Placed apples in oven at 37 degrees C for 24 hours to dry the coatings on the apples. Kept apple for many days in open place in food lab to observe the behavior of the apples towards the coating. Observe the coating after 7 days, 14 and 21 days and on the same way after 28 days and so on. Day 1. The apple was fresh and in perfect condition. Coated some apples with the solution of 10% and 15 and 20% solutions. Place the apples without coating for comparison study of physical appearances, taste and nutritional composition. Place the each concentration separately with the standard apple without coating in the food lab. Observational study for the day 7. 10% concentration. Apples were the same in appearance. Coated apple fresh and firm. Little wrinkles on uncoated apple. Little change in color. Firmness decreases. This slide is about the observational studies after day 7, 15% concentration. Coated apple showed firmness in skin. The skin was shiny. Uncoated showed lack of firmness. Slight change in color. Dull yellowish shade. Observational studies for the day 7 for the 20% concentration. The coated apples with a 20% concentration of the supernatant was observed after a week in comparison to the uncoated apple sample. The firmness in the skin was observed even after a week for the coated sample. It was observed that samples with biodegradable edible coatings have firm skin while the uncoated was slightly wrinkled. The weight was a little less for the uncoated apple. Also, the color of the uncoated apple was dull. Here is the observational studies for the day 14 for 10% concentration. The coated apple sample was firm in skin. Coated sample was wrinkled free. It was fresh in texture. There was no loss in weight. Uncoated sample lost their weight. They were deformed. They were wrinkled. Here is the observational study for the day 14, 50% concentration. Cotted apple was firm in skin. They were wrinkled free. They were fresh in texture. There was no loss in weight. While uncoated sample lost their weight, they were wrinkled and their color was faint. There is the observational study of day 14, 20% concentration. The uncoated sample was firmless and was having wrinkled skin. While the coated apple was fresh, then the uncoated apple and to the sample coated with less concentration and the same time interval of two weeks.
Here is the observational study for the day 21, 10% concentration. The cottage apple remained the same. It means they were fresh in texture. There was no water loss. While uncotted observed water loss, they started to deteriorate. They were dull in color. They began to plasmolysis. Here is the observational study for the day 21, 15% concentration. Cotted apple remained the same. They were fresh in texture. There was no water loss. While uncotted apple observed having water loss, they were dull in color. This is the observational study of day 21, 20% concentration. The cotted apple retained its firmness. It was also observed that there was no change in the skin color of the apple. While uncotted apples showed clear water loss, deformation of the skin, and started to deteriorate. Observational study for the day 28 for 10% concentration. The cotted apple was waxy. Color was retained as it was on the first day. The skin of the apple was firm in appearance. It has no wrinkle even after 28 days. While the uncotted apple was completely destroyed, it was completely rotten, having bad smell and the microbial growth in it. Here is the observational study for day 28 of 15% concentration. The cotted apple skin was shiny. It was having good texture. It was farmed, means having no wrinkled on it. While uncoated apple was completely destroyed, completely rotten, having bad smell and microbial growth in it. Study for the day 28, 20% concentration. The cotted apple skin fresh and was waxy. There was no bad smell. While a little change in color turned into red. While the uncoated apple was fully rotten, having bad smell and microbial growth in it. This is about the result and discussions for the 10% concentration. FTIR was carried out to check the percentage transmitter speeds versus the wavelength of the edible coatings prepared from apple peels, extract and CMC solution. The IR spectra shows the peaks presence at different wave numbers. This is the FTIR spectra of 15% concentration of extract solution. This spectra shows that the presence of different peaks at different values. Here is the FTIR spectra of 20% concentration of the extract solution. This spectra shows the presence of different peaks at different positions. XRD technique. XRD analysis is mostly used to check the chemical composition of the samples by checking their crystalline phases. Microstructural analysis of the sample. Black line shows the apple coating with 10% concentration. Red line shows the apple coating with 15% concentration. Blue line shows the apple coating with 20% concentration. Result of phoniometric technique applied for the 10%, 15%, and 20% concentration. Checking of water content angle is the easy and direct determination of the nature of the coatings showing their hydrophobic or hydrophilic characteristics. Low contact angle show the high affinity towards the water. The higher contact angle move towards the hydrophobicity. 10% has the lowest angle. This is the result of coniometry for 15% concentration. This is the result of coniometry for 20% concentration. M analysis. M is done to check the microstructural analysis of the adipal coatings which shows that the films are smooth, homogeneous, and continuous, having no grains or pores in them. The compact structure of coatings seen through SAMS show the excellency of the coatings stabilization, making it an ordered phase structure.
these are the results of some analysis for 15% concentration and 20% concentration. Conclusion can be drawn from this research that coated apple retained good quality during more than four weeks of studies. The coating material was shiny and waxy. There was retention of nutrients in the fruit. There was no loss of water. Edible coating increased shelf life of the fruits. The coating material is easy to prepare at industrial scale. They are low cost, means they are cheap. All characterizations showed good quality of coating material. It is edible and can be digested directly with food material. It means there is no harmful effect on the human health. Conclusion can be drawn from this research work as benefits of edible coating include they extend the shelf life, they reduce the metabolism and oxidation rate, they retard ethylene production, they retard respiration rate, they are useful in reduction of synthetic packing, they maintain the quality during storage, there is reduction of weight and firmness loss, and they retain the nutrients in the fruits. Thank you so much. If you have any query, you may ask.